Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we'll continue our discussion on bar plots. So in the previous lecture we looked at the estimator attribute and we can pass a different estimator to see that specific estimator information. In this case we passed median and we were able to see the median of the tip. So here in all the graphs that we have seen so far you see that there are black lines. These black lines represent the error bars. So these are all error bars. Okay. And we can we can pass different confidence interval values for this error bars. For that we'll be using the CI attribute. For instance, let's look let's look at this database, data set, smoker versus tip, so SNS that bar plot for our x-axis we'll use smoker and for our y-axis we'll use tip and data comes from the tips data set let's run it so we have smoker yes and no so mean of the tip now we'll pass different confidence interval value for the error bar so CI and then set it to a different value. For instance, let's say 99, run it. So that's what it looks like. Let me copy this and pass a different value for our CI. Let's pass for instance 68, run it. So you see the difference in the error bars now, right? So those are different confidence interval. CI values. Let me copy this again, paste it here and pass, let's say 34. And now we have a smaller error bar. So you can check the CI yourself. Again, you can use the palette attribute and pass, let's say, winter R. We have that. If you want to see a different estimator, you can pass the estimator attribute and then let's say, let's use median for instance. We can do that. Another thing we can do with the error bars is that we can add caps to each of our error bars. Let's see an example of that. SNS that bar plot. Let's consider different attributes, different variables for our X and Y axis. Let's consider day versus total bill. For our Y axis, we'll use total bill. And data comes from the tips data set. If we run this, we have day versus total bill. Let's use a different palette spring for instance we have that and then to add a cap for our error bars we simply pass the cap size attribute and then set a value for the cap size for instance let's say 0 0.3 run it so here we have a cap size now now we have added a cap for our error bars its size is 0 0.3 in our example. Let me copy this, paste it here and pass a different cap size value. For instance, let's pass 0 0.9 and see what it looks like. So the higher the cap size, the longer or the wider our cap is. Okay. Let me copy this, paste it here and pass a smaller cap size. For instance, 0 0.1, we have a smaller cap size. Palette, let's pass HUSL. Okay, so this is for our day versus total bill. We can still pass the hue attribute, for instance. So if I copy that, paste it here, and let's pass a hue attribute and set it to be 
let's say six run it again so we have our hue male and female for each of our days and a cap is added for each of the error bars let's look at another example let's consider let's draw a bar plot of size versus tip let's say next a bar plot so for our x-axis we'll use size and for our y-axis we we'll use tip and our data comes from the tips data set so if we run this we have size versus mean of the tip let's pass the palette attribute and pass a different palette let's say fall okay there is no fall is not a valid palette name let's pass i think there is one called autumn let's run it again okay here we have autumn for our palette size versus tip we can add caps for our errors similar to what we did here by passing the cap size attribute let's do that cap size let's set it to be 0 0.15 run it again we have that cap size and similar to what we did before we can use different palette let me copy this paste it here and let's pass for instance hqsl and it looks like this and if we only want a single color for all of our bar plots we can pass the color attribute and then set the color that we want for instance if you want to see green for all of our bar plots what we can do is instead of the palette attribute we'll pass the color attribute and set it to be let's say green for instance if we run this now we see that all of the all of the bar plots are green similarly if you want some other color let's say red for all of your bar plots you can do so by setting the color to red run it and now we have red and if you want to adjust how bright or how light the color is you can pass another attribute known as saturation then you can set it to some value let's say 0 0.3 run it so you have a different saturation of red if you want you can pass a higher value here let's say 0 0.8 now you have this shade of red so you can play around with the saturation to get a color that you like the most great this is what I have for the lecture on bar plots just to summarize we looked at bar plots how we can draw vertical bar plots we also saw that we can have horizontal bar plots and we can pass certain attributes to get more information on our bar plots for instance we can pass the hue attribute we can pass the order attribute to see our bar plots in the order that we want and we can change the estimator to some other estimator for instance median and we can adjust the color of our bar plots and we can also control this error parse by passing different con confidence interval values and we saw that we could also add caps to our error bars and finally we looked at how we can make all of our bar plots 
the same color by passing the color attribute. Thank you everyone and see you at the next lecture.